the temple drummer, astride a sacred bullock, announces a festive parade. A few paces behind, bearing the emblem of Vishnu on its forehead, is the temple elephant, followed by a band of musicians. Under the white umbrella is the sacred image of the Lord Vishnu, almost hidden by the garlands that festoon him atop the large golden Garuda figure serving as his festive throne. The Lord in his image form is flanked by attendant priests and in his wake follow faithful devotees by the dozens singing hymns of praise. This is a procession in Madras in South India and it is early morning on the full moon day of the month known locally as Masi, corresponding to a time in our early March. There are many parades throughout the south of India all during the year, but this one, making its way to the seashore, is seen but once a year. The pious are always eager to see the sacred image taken out of his holy temple and brought into their midst. It is not far from the temples of the inner city to the beach, for Madras is built right on the Bay of Bengal on India's southeastern coast. Only a few paces from the surf, the image will be worshipped in full view of all. As more flower garlands and precious cloths donated by the faithful are advanced to decorate the deity. The temple priests are there petitioning the one invisible God of the universe to bless the celebration of this, his particular visible form and as the priests play out their specialized roles as ministrants, groups form along the beach. Some listen to sacred legends of the Lord's saving works, receiving religious instruction that way. Others pray to the sun just rising in the east over the Bay of Bengal, doing Sandhya Vandana devotion at daybreak. Others prepare themselves for a dip in the surf, and some use the occasion simply to visit with neighbors and friends, but the object of this festive outing is to give the deity a dip in living waters, whether it be here at the seashore, or by a river bank, under a waterfall, in a reservoir, or at a temple tank. And the pious who have gathered each wearing the outward symbol of Vishnu on his forehead, devoutly believe that if they bathe at the same moment the deity is submerged, all the accumulated sins of a lifetime will be washed away. The deity is ready for his sea bath now. All wait the auspicious moment. As the benign rays of the sun, symbol of Vishnu's own discus of power, reflect higher in the sky and attest to his supremacy as preserver and redeemer, the true believers bathe in the infinite ocean of his mercy. small bathing image, momentarily substituting for the larger likeness, is brought back. The Lord will be reinstated on his golden Garuda throne and further public offerings will be given to him while the pious devotees finish their ablutions. Gradually, the faithful will move back to where the deity is enthroned. Their clothes are wet, yet it is a time of joy and celebration, a moment of release experienced early on a sultry morning by the seashore, a moment fleeting perhaps, but no less real for that.
prasadam in the form of holy water is distributed. All from the youngest to the oldest can participate in this event. Too soon it is time for the Lord to be carried back to his sanctuary. His movable platform is borne on the shoulders of his would-be servants. Much as a king was carried through the streets in royal procession, the white umbrella marking his presence. And as the procession moves back in the morning brightness toward the inner city, the faithful disperse, going back home or off to work. This procession on its way back passes another group just arriving at the beach from a different temple. For this once a year festive outing is celebrated by many Hindu temples throughout the south of India at the same time. On the full moon day of the Tamil month called Masi, that month when the Lord's grace is experienced anew and when the sins of true believers can be washed away. 